Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm still going to be continuing my Disney movie marathon by making a Star Wars related video. Or well, specifically, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Which has to be one of the most brought up Star Wars films I've brought in this channel. Brought this film up so many times, specifically this one. Because a lot of people like to assume that this is something for kids. Yep, it's called a kids movie, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I'll get into that in just a moment as to why I honestly believe that it's not for kids. I mean, don't you think you should be doing some activities outside with them to begin with? Instead of just being in front of the television all day? I don't know, whatever. I know this Disney of Thon has been rather short, which yes, I agree. But this will be my last Disney related video until much later. So I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to do another Disney related video, but I will get to it once I have the chance, of course. I will continue and do another Disney movie a thon later, folks. So for the time being, this will be my, this will be my last one for the until much later. So I just want to do a little disclaimer there. And I will continue to do more Disney stuff. Uh, in a, in a in a distant time, I guess. But anyway, then I also say that more over the topic of the video is that I just can't really guess is that people having the idea that Star Wars is for kids, which I have to disagree with. And that's the thing. It's same thing with video games. With video games, a lot of people have the misconception that video games are just for children, which it's just. Absurd, but I'm using the Force Awakens as an example to no make uh, this video because there was a bit of violence. I mean, yes, I do realize uh, there's things in crazy. We're living in a crazy times now with protests, riots, and whatnot, among a number of things. Yes, I know things are pretty chaotic right now, which yes, I will agree on that. But still, I mean, point here is that maybe these films aren't exactly as colorful and bright as many people assume. So, yeah, it's all part of the story where it, it takes place in this grand adventure where Ray is like this, like this woman who wants to make a living off this place, but her mund seemingly mundane life is suddenly interrupted. I mean, she has to go on this journey of self-discovery, and let's just say she makes more than a few friends along the way, and feel, uh, realizes what her real mission in life. So, of course, like right in the beginning where she will have to run in peril because of these TIE fighter things that are basically trying to kill her because she's with this guy with the character of Finn bumps into her, and that just makes her entire life complete chaos from that point forward. And yeah, that us start the adventure somehow, I guess. Yeah, the TIE Fighters are actually trying to murder both of them. They're complete strangers at this point. So, yeah. Yeah, what a way to start a friendship. Yup. Of course, he doesn't exactly stop there, really, because early on in the film, let's just say that we get to see the villain of the story, and it's, let's just say, and there's this, there was this woman too, of course, she's not exactly the main focus, but they do attack a village, and we get to see that one let, villain later on really attempts to bring harm to Ray, physically and emotionally. But anyway, like I was saying in the beginning of the film, where they do this kind of massacre on this village, yeah, Village Massacre. That's quite dark. And they actually show it on screen. And yeah, this isn't exactly something subtle. They actually just go out and do it. Of course, one of the soldiers, of course, is Finn. Who goes to conscience. And then there's, a, there's this one old guy. And yes, on screen, we see him getting murdered. Yeah, pretty much setting the tone of the film. From this point on, you, you should get the feel of what, you, of what you're into, and the, what you're getting. 
And that's part of fun. When, you, when it comes to making movies, that's super like the most obvious thing, setting up the tone of it. So again, this doesn't exactly scream family friendly. And that's a positive that's a positive in my book, folks. And yes, there'll be situations where Ray herself will have to shoot her laser weapon and have to go after the bad guy or whatnot. She's in a situation where she has to. So um yeah. Even the villain himself will use violence as a way to get what he wants, of course. And of course, let's not forget about the fact that hey, Nazi symbolism. Yeah. Nazism, that alone can bring up quite a bit of images in people's minds. And that, that again alone is, is quite a bit much for a young mind to handle. So yeah, there's actually a lot of politics, whether people want to accept them or not, but there are politics in this movie. And that's another sub heavy subject matter that young minds may not w comprehend, of course. But anyways, the character race is basically in an outer rim, well at first anyway. So she can't way way in the outer room, so she can't exactly get help right away. And of course the character of uh, Finn will be forced to fight as well in certain situations. If the character of Ray really wanted to get some help, which she could have, but the issue is that from the new republic, the main government kind of thing, like heroes I guess, it will have just taken way too long. So, creating a moment of suspense where she can actually die. Yeah, main character dying. There you go. That's another thing I can't really say it's for kids. That's quite, that's quite dark. Because it's way too far away. Well, anyway, folks. I just want to do this video real quick. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure when I'll go to my next Disney-a-thon, but I'll get to it. I guess I'm, until then, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Till next time. See ya, oh yeah.